Welcome to a slow flow class. As always, my name is Ria and I'll guide you through the class. I hope you'll sit comfortably as much as you can on the mat in a seated position that works for you. We're going to sit and breathe just for a moment here to begin with. Spine is straight and sitting bones on the mat and maybe you adjust yourself a little bit. You can let your palms rest on your thighs or your knees and then close your eyes. Noticing how you breathe and then try to calm your breath. Relax your shoulders and your head. If you feel any tension in your shoulders, you can do some small shoulder rolls to release the tension and just notice if you can relax a little bit more. Maybe let your palms reach up, still resting on your knees. And remind yourself of one aspect of God that you need right now, in your present moment. What aspect of God do you need right now? Maybe he's healing. God's power. Strength. Or comfort. Throughout the class, I'll invite you to mention that, that side or that aspect of God. God is everything, but sometimes it's nice to make God more concrete. So inhale the aspect of God that you're longing for right now. Open your mouth and exhale the opposite. And maybe do it once or twice more. You can make some free movements on the mat. If you're kind of clueless of what to do, you can do some circles with your upper part, or actually your whole spine, slowly. Let your head hang or roll or whatever works for you. So we're gonna work slowly, consciously, Cautiously. Are there any specific places in your shoulders or elbows or wrists, spine for that matter, 
that you need to move or warm up a little bit before we go into more of the standing postures. Please move those parts. And then prepare yourself to stay at the, or stand at the front end of the mat, hip with feet, a distance in between your feet. Fold forward and make sure you're bent quite a lot, maybe in your knees. Take a hold of your elbows and you can sway from side to side. And when you have seen what's on the screen, close your eyes and let your head hang. And I'll invite you to close your eyes as much as possible during our practice today. A little bit of an introverted yoga practice you are tuned into today. Let go of your elbows and try to let your eyes stay closed. I'll tell you what to do. Bend more down in your knees, almost like a chair pose. And from there, lift up into mountain pose, beginning with your knees still bended, rolling your spine up. And the higher you get up, the more you might stretch your legs. And at some point, you're standing in mountain pose and then let your arms draw the big circle here out to the side, right arm to right side and left to left. Palms meet at some point at the top of your head. Let go of the palms and draw your hands out and begin the big circle just the opposite direction as what we did before. And maybe you do this with your breath. So you inhale, big circle, palms meet on top of your head. And exhale, draw your hands out to the side. And down by your hip maybe. Inhale, think about the, this aspect of God. Maybe look up as you draw your arms up. And let go of what you need to let go of as you take your hands down. And continue for a few more moments. And next time your hands are down by your side, let them stay there. Lift up your right leg. Bend your knee 90 degree angle and flex your foot. Try to put your pelvis underneath yourself here. Stand tall. Gaze somewhere on the ground a few meters in front of you. And maybe you open your eyes as we do balance poses, especially as we are going to move now. Going to take this foot back, moving into a low lunge. So slowly right leg moves back. See if you can keep your balance. Maybe take your hands here in front of you so that you know that you'll reach the floor eventually. The foot moves down. Fingers on the mats and then lower down your right knee. Maybe fold your mat. Low lunge. Arms above your head. Now try to notice where your shoulders are. Can you kind of take them up and a little bit back? Bend your elbows a little bit so we don't have like tightened straight arms, but relaxed arms. Align your hip with the short end of the mat. And for a stretch, move your hip further to the front end of your mat and you can even crawl this front leg a little bit more to the front if that is helpful. Sink down in a stretch for your hamstrings and hip flexors. Breathe. Deep breaths.
and prayer pose in front of your chest. Your arm here is horizontal lined and we'll go for a twist. So maybe you move your hip just a tiny bit back. This right elbow, cross it either over the, the, the knee joint or just on the inside for a smaller twist. Now take your thumb somewhat down towards your chest so your arms or your hands are not floating around. And maybe move your hip further to the front to deepen the twist and the stretch on your hip. Notice where your shoulders are. Again, down and away. Length in front of your chest from shoulder girdle to shoulder girdle. Go of your twist. Frame this front foot. Maybe use blocks if the, the floor is really far away. Now let the toes reach up towards the sky and make sure you don't overstretch this leg. It's, it's quite easy to, <laughs> to do that without thinking about it. Now create length through your spine. And with your chest as the first thing, lean forward to create a deeper stretch on the back of this leg and maybe even on the back of your spine, lower spine. How deep can your breath go? Let go, bend again, the front knee. Take your hands on the inside of the knee joint and then we move into white stand. So just take a look at the side here of the, the screen or the mat. Let your toes point slightly inward. And first, a gentle forward fold. Make sure you micro bend your knees a little bit, especially if you have the tendency of high back standing. And then we'll draw awareness to our shoulder and to our spine as we're going to move into a twist. So lift your chest or spine up, again horizontal, and use of blocks might be really nice here, or a book or something. Right hand on the floor or just the fingers. In front of your feet, but in between. Right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up as high as you think is possible. Looking up or looking down, that all depends on your neck. From here, take this lifted hand down towards the floor again, hands aligned, and move into a forward fold. No twisting here, just forward fold. Then lift your spine up again, spine is straight. And then left arm up towards the sky. Notice your shoulders away from your ears. Now you are twisting. Once again, hands beside each other on the mat here, forward fold. We'll lift up again one last time. Shoulders down. Gauge the back of the shoulder blade there on your left side. Lift the arm up, twist. And then take this right, uh, this left arm behind you, if possible, maybe reaching towards the right thigh or however down, far down you can go. Just tucking your shoulders away from your ears and up towards the sky. And let go. Fingers on the mat and turn to the top of the mat where you normally are, so you can look at the screen. Step the back foot to meet the front. Fold forward and rise up into mountain pose. Close your eyes and stay in mountain pose for a few breaths.
Now that aspect of God that I invited you to think about. If you were to draw a picture or maybe a color of that aspect, what would that look like? And take that into your heart. That this is what God is giving you right now. Put your body weight on your right leg, open up your eyes if you're ready, and lift, left leg up. <coughs> Move the foot back. Again, slowly, maybe open your eyes here as you take this left foot and take the toe down at some point at the back end of the mat. Hands down, low lunge. As you might know, I'm a fan of folded mats for the sake of the knee. Also, if you don't have knee issues yet, <laughs> arms above your head. Again, shoulders, avoid lifting them up. And as you move your hip more to the front, still squaring up it off with the back end of the mat, we can deepen our oh, stretch here with a little bit of a back bend. So you can fold your hands behind your head. And this is not the deepest back bend we're going to do ever, but just a little bit of a back bend. So hip sinks down and towards the front end of the mat. Letting go. Maybe take your hand here on your thigh as you draw yourself back. We're gonna do a twist. So again, palms meet. And just adjust this front foot. As long as the, the knee is not above the toes, you're good, okay? So maybe you have your stance here, or maybe align knee and ankle. The palms together, shoulders back. Lean forward, left elbow on the inside or the outside of the thigh. Notice if your fingertips are reaching to watch each other. Move your hip further down into the front. Breathe in this very deep twist, probably. let go. Now, of course, if you feel something in your knee, now you've been in on, on our knees for some minutes now, just shake it out. But if not, stretch the front leg there. Blocks underneath your fingertips if you need. Elongate through your spine. Inhale and then exhale as you lean forward again with your chest leaning first forward so you don't round your back going forward. let go. 
wide stance. So again, hands on the inside of the mat here, and then move around to wide stand, probably on the other side. Widen the distance. There's no right or wrong distance here. It's all a matter of what your maybe your feet actually can can uh, hold onto, and and also your hip here and everything. So this time, left hand on the floor or on the block in front of you, in the middle of those feet there. Lift up, right arm. Again, straight spine. So if you see it from the side, my spine is somewhat horizontal and that is might, yeah, that's why it might help pull with a block. Okay, let's move as we did before. Hands now beside each other, forward fold. Lift up again, spine straight, right arm up towards the sky, twisting as you move that top shoulder up. And again down, unwind the twist, forward fold. Up again. Lifting, twisting, forward fold. And last time where we'll be standing in our twist just a tiny bit longer, as I'll invite you to bend this top arm and reach it back behind you. Now it's quite important that those shoulders are away from your ears. Use those stabilizing muscles behind the shoulder blades to keep you here. And let go. Child's pose. So make your way to the top of the mat with your hands. Step back. Maybe you shake things out. And then bend your knees. Make sure you have some distance to feel comfortable here in your belly. Forehead on the mat. You can take your shoulders down and away. Maybe your elbows are reaching down so it feels comfortable staying here. Resting in child's pose. Say thank you to God for being what you need him to be. So thank you, God, that you are my strength, comfort, or whatever. And repeat that. Thank you, God, that you are my You are certainly welcome to stay longer in child's pose or make your way back on your back in resting pose after the video is done. But if you're ready to wrap up the class, maybe you just come into a seated position again, close your eyes, palms facing up. And then drawing our attention out to the world. Thank you, God, that you are to the world. Pray for those around you that might need exactly what you have been praying for today.
My word for today was strength. So I pray that God will strengthen you wherever you are and whatever your circumstances are. From my heart to your heart, thank you so much for joining me today.